The first one is a good heartfelt message um, from the captain, Bruno Fernandez. Thank you for everything, boss. I appreciate the trust and the moments we share together. I wish you all the best in the future. Even knowing the last period hasn't been great for all of us, I hope <laughs> you fans can keep with you the good things that the manager has done for our club. Aww. Aww. Chad GPT? You know, yeah, yeah No. <laughs> okay. No. One of the things that I also kept seeing before we go to the next one is, um, you know, Ted Hogg might leave as the the worst manager in Premier League history, or people are saying you can say that he's one of the worst, but he's got more trophies than Mikel Arteta. Oh, yeah. oh Claudia. I wanted to put from that the one out here, road. but I don't yeah. think we Damn. picked that one, but I mean. I mean, yeah, that's both, both are facts, uh -huh. I guess. <laughs> I don't want to say more than that. All right, let's go to our next one. Yes, we put it up here. I didn't know if they would. This was, uh, yeah, we got lots of versions of these tweets. Ten Hag has a case of being one of the worst managers in PL history and still left more trophies than Arteta. Oh, my God. The, Certainly the, the two, Arsen it. two Arsenal fans at the desk are Charlie looking at me Alexis like, shut up. Yeah, at least Ten Hag knows what it's like to beat Manchester City. <laughs> mm. Wow. Ooh. Let's go on to the next one that we have. Okay, so this is in regards to the midweek game um, against Fenerbahce where Bruno Fernandez um, was out. So uh, he said, a man played a right back as the number 10, and you think someone is going to last at their job behaving like that? Oh, a whole bunch of experiments that haven't panned out. No. All right, let's move on to our third one. And drum roll. Thank you for the memories, Eric Ten Hag. You will be missed. This was Man U's worst loss to Liverpool. Oh, we switched to the next one. And Ten Hag never got a chance to ruin Lenny Euro. Yeah. Yes, that's a fact. Aww. Damn, man. I love, I love the fact that Premier League fans just are just waiting. The way we had stuff already set up in case he got fired, they had stuff in the drafts for the moment they got fired. The, you can't Yeah, you can't I, I wonder. I, I, I wonder how Lenny Euro is going to play when he comes back. It's just, he, he, it, there's a little bit of truth to that statement because he, he's another one of Ten yeah. sightings. I never got to play under Ten Hag. The word, the, the phrase generational talent was used with him, so I think they'll be fine. He was a young, young talent. Hopefully he gets back quickly. But some of his other players, I don't know how much longer they're going to be wearing Manchester United shirts. Anthony. Yeah. Mira, let me ask you this. So I know, obviously, it's not a shock that the firing has happened. You guys have all been waiting for it. But is it a shock in the sense of maybe you lost hope that they would fire him I did not season? have confidence yeah. in them to do anything about, about yeah. it, Claudia. Yeah, so in that sense, I was surprised when I heard the news. Like, oh, they actually did it? They actually did it. Ineos. Because we have been having this conversation mm. for what feels like centuries so yeah I was I was surprised that they actually made the move but it was necessary I mean Charlie keeps saying it's just like how long were you gonna let this go on for how bad Did I asked the question get, yeah. months ago how bad does it have to get for them to actually do it and they I mean turns out it's 14th with a goal 14th. differential of minus three yeah. 14th 14th <laughs> oh, and, that is and just brutal. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the dreadful European record. It was the Prem and losing at West Ham. That's what finally did him in. Oof! Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I sure do. The thank you for the memories. <laughs> so this is the one I was going to look at before. Le uh, Man U's worst loss to Liverpool. It was the first time they conceded seven goals for the first time since it was what was it? I've got it written down here, like 1931. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Susanna remembers it very clearly. You should have come up here to, do, to show this one yourself. <laughs> it was unbelievable. You should put I, a picture of Gary Neville it up just kept, It just kept coming. <laughs> it just, I was like, oh, nope, don't stop now. Another one, another <laughs> keep one. Keep going, keep another going. Another one. That I'll, I'll always remember Jamie uh, Carragher and Neville sitting next oh, to Oh, that, that was yeah. but priceless. This, this isn't too far after... Liverpool beat Manchester United 5-0 at Anfield when yeah. Cristiano was still there, and, and that was like one of the last straws for Oli. I, I was at Anfield for that game. I was, I went with Mariana, my fiance, who knows nothing about football, and she felt so bad about, for the Manchester. <laughs> oh. She was like, oh my gosh, like, I, Oli, oh no, oh, she didn't know who Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was her. until that day. Yeah. Oh no, she felt so bad for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> she knew that it, he was gonna get sacked the next day. And he got sacked, I think, very little after that moment. But 
it got worse. So you would say, all right, new manager's not going to be worse than a 5-0. Mm -hmm. And after a 5-0, there's a 7-0. So ultimately, again, I go back to the whole thing. If you're, if you're putting up these results that, that are a, a direct example of how your club is being run, maybe it's not the case of every single manager being to blame. Yes, of course, the manager has some blame, but oh, the bigger picture, there is a bigger picture that I hope that the leadership at Manchester United I, is looking at. I just think it's so remarkable that we are, we struggle to find anything positive to say about this man's tenure. They had that, that brief moment. Uh, Marcus Rashford, for a, for a minute, was really, looked really good under him. But like, outside of that, mm. what are the positives? Is I think you nailed it with Garnacho, <laughs> and yeah. who, who isn't a Manchester United youth product. Mm -hmm. They went to go get him at Atletico Madrid youth and bring him to United youth. Wild mm. times. <laughs> Wild right. times. Well, well, job well done then, Ayrton. <laughs> Thank you for Garnacho. Is, is, would you say Garnacho would play on every top team? I think he has the potential, potential. to play on, on most teams in Europe. Yeah. He's good. He's as quality. He's quality. On most teams, yes. Like, I don't know if he's better than Rafinha right now. You, but don't, you don't know can, or you do know? No, but... <laughs> I mean, Charlie's getting tricked. Yes, yes, yes. Charlie's yes. like, sure. You don't know or you, you don't do know? What an inflammatory question. Thanks for keeping it.